Many thanks for rejoining us again on the program. Good morning, Abuja, showing only on the Unity Station NTA Channel 5, Abuja. Now, every 26th of June is celebrated as International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. And I have a mental health practitioner with me in the studio this morning to talk to us about the day and to also talk to us about drug abuse. Help me welcome David Okenyi Agama to the program. <laughs> David, you're welcome to the program this Thank morning. You all. Yes. Thank you, all. Yes, all. Okay, like I said, uh, every 26th of June yes. uh, today, uh, we celebrate International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. Yes. Before we go to talk about the day, yes. talk to us, what is drug abuse? Okay. Um, we all know what drug is actually used for. Uh, drugs are actually used to cure one or two health-related issues, issues, headache, migraines, and so on and so forth. But the drug you take, when, when you take it for the purpose to which it doesn't serve, mm. that's drug abuse. You're abusing I'm it. Not, I don't have headache and I'm taking paracetamol. Then uh, definitely I'm abusing paracetamol mm. and so on. Okay. So that's actually drug abuse. Okay. When you take it in excess and for the purpose to which you are taking it for, not for, then that's actually drug abuse. Okay. Based. Now, so. talking about this uh, drug abuse and illicit trafficking, yes. how does it affect the well-being of people? Okay. Well, uh, most like in my center, actually, most cases mm. of mental disorders, actually, as a, re as, as a result of this drug, drug abuse. abuse. Uh, someone could be depressed mm. and uh, the next thing is he goes to take drugs. Mm. Uh, uh, we, we also see cases of schizophrenia mm. and so on and so forth. So uh, most mental disorders actually as a result of this drug abuse and most cases of medical issues also mm. as a result of this drug abuse. And also it could lead to social, emotional and psychological disorders, mm. even job related issues. Now most companies can retain someone mm. that has had issues of drug. So these are one of the issues mm. with drug abuse actually. Okay. Yes. Now for what you do, how can uh, therapy help rescue victims of drug abuse? Okay, um, there's an approach we use. Okay. We call it psychotherapy, actually. All right. So uh, in our center, basically, we do group therapy. We do counseling and family counseling also. Mm -hmm. So in the group therapy, actually, we come, we bring people that have issues of drug-related issues. issues. We bring them together, and uh, this one tells his own side of the story, how he's able to come up, how he's able to tackle his own issue. This one tells us one, and it helps those that are just coming into it. Mm. It helps them on how to tackle it. Mm. So we also do what they call psycho cognitive cognitive behavioral therapy also. Okay. So that one is actually we try to change the thinking process okay. of the victim. All right. Okay. This is most people, most issues, most mental issues actually, mm. as a result of the thinking process. Mm. Okay. You are having this particular issue. Some people, they break up with their boyfriend and they go into taking drugs and all of that. So the cognitive behavioral therapy is actually to change talk, the... Talk them out of it. Yes, wow. yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right. So we still do withdrawal therapy, applied okay. behavioral analysis, okay. and so on and so forth. Counseling also, counseling. individual counseling. So okay. we use that as actually as one of the psychological ways of tackling okay. these drug Now issues. let's relate it to what we are celebrating or marking today, okay. um, International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. Okay. okay, take us through the theme for the year and why. Okay, the theme actually is the people first. Mm. Okay, stigma, discrimination, and strengthening prevention, prevention actually. Okay. So uh, what that actually implies is it's actually the people first. Mm. If you discriminate against someone that is taking drugs, then you are not actually helping the person. Okay? Mm. So the essence of it is, is to reduce punishment. Mm. People that are actually willing to, willing to get that help, it's, you don't actually tell them this is the consequence. If you do this, you are, you are actually going to be spent 20 years in prison. It's actually to bring them together, create that love, mm. The negative languages we use against them, 
we stop it yes, and all of that. So we should try and reduce it. We should try and reduce it and okay. all of that. So okay. when we actually do that, we bring that acceptance and mm -hmm. they're actually going to be willing to change. Mm -hmm. So the team is actually to reduce mm -hmm. the negative impact the society has had on drug Victims. users, actually. Okay. Yes. And now yes. let's uh, relate it to the government. What okay. is the government doing to control the rise of the uh, drug abuse and illicit trafficking? Okay, well, the, in the aspect of the mm -hmm. government, mm -hmm. <coughs> well, government keeps coming up with policies, policies and policies, yes. but the issue is how are they implementing it, actually? Okay. How are they implementing it? Though, the, I would say the government is trying. Like, mm -hmm. like, I remember when I was running a degree program at the University of Jos, there's a center mm -hmm. that caters for juveniles. Okay. With juvenile delinquents, mm -hmm. as children that are not able to go to prison. So the, there's a center that they put them in it, actually. Okay. So the the plateau state government then like the measures when I went I went there for my internship program okay. actually and the mm -hmm. measures they took actually it was it, it, it really worked it then. was really working actually okay you could see children that are actually coming out of their of their homes this one would, you are counseling this one you tell you mm -hmm. you mention like fifteen drugs is taking something mm -hmm. uh, you've never actually listened to mm -hmm. and. You, like, I remember there's a 16 boy I counseled actually, mm. and some of the vocational skills they do for him laundry, mm. uh, um, tailoring for some of them actually. So, that one has actually helped instead of going into the drugs, mm. they venture into this vocational okay. skills actually. So, well, we know that uh, government has put in place policies, yeah. and it's, uh, we are really talking about it. Uh, yes. Seriously, now yes. I don't think we should limit it to the government alone. Even the parents, the caregivers, yes. everyone should be concerned about yes. this issue because, like you said, uh, there is a center in Jos yes, for yes. the underage yes, and yes. The, the therapy you're using to counsel people out of it. Yes, we yes. all have to make sure we put our hands on check to ensure that the younger ones don't even go into it yes, before absolutely. we talk about getting them out of it. Now, yes. let's talk about the majors uh, to check when it comes to addiction. What are the majors? Okay, well, first, first of all, um, there are um, psychologists, okay. psychiatrists, um, licensed drug counselors, actually, okay. that actually check this addiction, actually. So what they do is, okay, those that are actually diagnosed with drug abuse, mm. actually, they, they evaluate them, okay? They, okay, when they come to, the, to our center, like my center, actually, we don't just do, uh, we don't just work with children with special needs, we actually work with other adults with special needs. Mm. So when they come to the center, we evaluate them, check the impact of mm. that drug, actually. So either we give them inpatient service or outpatient. Outpatient inpatient is actually they stay in the in the, uh, in the center, center there. Center, okay. But when they stay there for like two, three months actually, mm. and you don't you don't see the drug you are taking, mm. it's actually going to subside. Subside it. And then outpatient they go and they come actually. Mm. So those are actually one of the measures actually we use. Okay, the, the some of the measures you use uh, the the table therapeutic uh, measure you use does yes. it really get them out of it completely uh, well the victims now um, well, I would n 80 percent of victims mm. it, it has actually gotten them okay. it all depends on how well you follow it up okay if you okay. do effective follow-up it's mm. definitely going to bring them out of it okay yes, uh, talk to more to share with us some of your practical examples uh psychologically what the approach you use to helping the victim out we want to uh, measure more on that Okay, um, like I said, actually, mm. uh, one of the approach we use, uh, like I mentioned the cognitive yes, behavioral indeed. therapy. That's actually one of the major approach we use, actually. Okay. So what we do is um, we bring them in and we try to counsel them. Mm. Okay, they tell us the reason why they take the drugs, actually. Mm. Okay, some stupid reasons could be, oh, I broke up with my boyfriend. Highly stupid. <laughs> you know, it's not a word to use, but then there are no reasonable reasons. Yeah, actually, there are no reasonable okay. reasons, actually. Yeah, I, I broke up with my boyfriend, mm. and oh, that's why. I, and the funny thing is most 
That's why government actually needs to regulate some of these media contents. Mm. Some artists will even sing about it. Oh, I broke, I, I broke up with my boyfriend, so I have, to, I have to take drugs and all of that. So some people will tell you, I broke up with my boyfriend, so that's why I'm taking this drug. And some people, some people is because of peer group influence mm, and all sure. that. So what we mm. do is we try to um, go through their thinking process. You're actually, uh, you're actually in this because of your friend. Mm. Your friend is taking drugs, so you too you are actually doing it just because you want to see the effect. So we go through it and like we try to take them out of the environment which mm. they are into it. We 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 talk to their family also. Mm. Because most instances, poor parenting also mm, could poor also lead to also some contributes, of these yes. um, issues also. Okay, like in your center, do you have a program lined up for today's celebration? Uh, well, we have we have a program actually lined up, okay. but it's actually going to be in the center actually. Okay. Yes, yes, right. yes. So okay. both all our cli all our clients actually that mm. have had these issues, we mm. bring them up and we. We celebrate with them. We do, we do the group therapy. The group therapy is not actually going to be the talking aspect. Okay, this is my issue. We will just do a form of um, play with them. Okay, okay. We do like a party with them yes, to celebrate to, them. To, and to make them know they are still part yeah, to of make the them society. Feel among, actually, yes. Okay, now yes. as we celebrate today, uh, International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, yes. uh, what is your final words to... Uh, people whoever is watching us right now people that are related to the victims uh, how we should handle the victim okay uh, the, based on the theme of this year's mm. program actually okay it's the people first actually mm. there's there's one of our therapeutic approach we call it joining joining if you yeah if you don't make somebody if you are trying to rehabilitate somebody mm. And you don't feel among with the person. Mm. You discriminate. You discriminate the person. Mm. You tell him so many negative words. The person is definitely not going to come out of come it. Out. You are not actually helping the person. Mm. But if you make the person tell him, oh, I've actually been into this. I've seen people that have been into this, and they've come out of it. So you too, you can come out of it. Okay. So if you actually make them feel among. Mm. Definitely, they will come out of it. Actually, okay. If you make them feel among, the stop the use of abusive words, abusive and, words and languages and okay. all of that okay don't mention punishment actually if you mention punishment the person would be scared and he's not actually going to come out of it highest he would hide and be doing what he's doing mm. actually so if you make the person feel a monk and tell him this is the way forward mm. then definitely okay he's thank you so much thank you uh, for your time with us on the program this morning we thank do you, really appreciate your time thank you all thank right. you all yes ma yes we have been speaking with david okeyi agama he is a mental health practitioner and today uh together we looked at international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking he has talked to us a lot what we need to know about drug abuse and what we need to do to the victims because the fight is for all of us is for everyone. Now let's go on this quick break on the program. When we return, good morning, Abuja continues.